Minimum wage workers. What is something that is against the rules for customers to do but you aren't paid enough to actually care? I worked graveyard at Jack in the Box near a community college. The line would get so long I decided to give out a mystery treat to every passenger in the car. From free orange juice to jumbo jacks, everyone was a winner. Reminds me of the time I went to Taco Bell late one night and ordered a single taco and when I came to grab my order from the drive through I got a huge sack of like 20 tacos. I hit the mega jackpot. People sleeping in their cars overnight. I consistently work night shifts and see it all the time. We are meant to tap on the window and ask them to leave. But really if someone has to sleep in their car and we have a huge empty car park, why kick someone while they're down? My favorite old folks weren't usually charged as much as they should have been. I'm not about to tack on $0.50 for extra peanut butter. If someone was awful to me you bet your butt they paid the full price. I'd also give away muffins that wouldn't be sold the next morning. Super against the rules according to the boss because it encourages vagrants but I also told my manager it was a dumb rule and I was doing it anyway, but wouldn't say where they were from. But he didn't mind and didn't let the boss know. It didn't increase vagrants coming in. No harm no foul. Sometimes those muffins were my meal of the day too. At Christmas I forgot to charge someone for the box of goodies they were getting as a special treat for their kids. She was someone that always came in for just a coffee and a treat on Fridays and was the nicest lady living on a small pension. She would always rather spend money on someone else so she deserved it. I worked at an airline. The minimum change fee was $75. At the time that amount of money would take me about 10 hours to earn. Let me tell you how many ways I found to waive that fee. Oh what a great conversation about whether let me waive that fee for you. Oh, your child is crying in the background let me waive that for you. I found any reason to waive that. Comma the fee is $50, plus a $25 convenience fee if you pay by card or check. In Disney World I worked at Cirque du Soleil. They would throw away all the food at the end of the night but nothing got me more upset than the cotton candy. It cost them like 15 cent a bag to make but sold it for $5.50 and they would throw it away. I used to grab bags and give them to the guests for free. Also, gave away popcorn and hot dogs and stuff. No use letting it got to waste. Just a disclaimer, the Serp team was extremely small maybe 14 employees on payroll with 8 on shift at a given time. Yet we serviced over 6400 people in 2 shows each day. A typical shift went like this. Go in at 4pm prepare for 6. Management will give you how many hot dogs, cotton candy, pretzels, popcorn to make. When 5.30 rolled around we opened doors and sold sold sold. Then after the show finishes at 7.30 is live show so it varied, we would restock. Depending on how good we did during the first show and the number we are expecting for the second we make adjustments and prepare for next show. Around 8.30 we open doors. Sell sell sell. Once the show is on there will rarely be someone buying stuff they spent $80 a ticket to watch a 85 minute show I'd be damned if they are going to miss a second of it. After the show 3200 people are rushing out. So when the theater was about 80% empty if I knew we were going to have an abundance of stuff left over, I was doing it long enough to accurately gauge. I'd just give it away. No harm done. I worked at the Costco hot dog stand. One of my co-workers volunteer tested at an animal shelter. He would take the extra hot dogs at the end of the night and bring them to the shelter to feed the dogs. Management found out and fired him over it. It pee me off because he stole nothing but garbage. People paying with expired coupons for anything that wasn't medication. I worked in retail pharmacy and we had to let customers make their front store purchases at the pharmacy if they wanted to. I just scanned all the expired coupons anyway because it wasn't worth the trouble of having an argument with the customer and increasing the amount of time they were on the line. Obviously with those RX coupons it was another story, as overriding that could be considered insurance fraud. What's interesting is CVS took away the button to let employees put in coupons manually completely. At minimum wage the only things I would care about are things that would get me arrested or would keep me up at night. They're basically saying I'd pay you even less if I could, but it's illegal and then they act surprised every time an employee doesn't bust their butt for them. 
I'm going to do the absolute bare minimum work for absolute bare minimum pay, and if you don't like it you can fire me and I'll literally walk across the street and get another job doing the exact same thing for the exact same pay. At the movie theater I used to work at, we were only supposed to give free popcorn refills to the people who bought buckets not bags. But sometimes if the person was nice to me and brought a bag up for a refill, I'd just do it. It's easier than explaining why all the time. It's really dumb. Popcorn is pennies for a refill. Who the frick cares what size bag or whatever. Movie theaters have got to stop. Take more than one trip to the salad bar. I just can't argue with one more Karen or Lisa about how it used to be all you can eat 3 years ago before we changed it in 2015. I don't give a frick. Eat your dang salad and frick off. It's 80% iceberg lettuce anyway, which is 90% water. Not a worker, but I was being assisted by a minimum wage worker at a chain arcade. Me and my friend were figuring out what we could afford to get from the little rewards area, and we started to sit down and begin counting. He saw us and said, no, don't worry, they don't pay me enough to care. We still felt bad so we put some of the candy we got back. He started scanning our point cards and the rewards. We had 5-10 extra pieces of candy and he was like, looks like you can't afford it. Then he slid all of the extra candy into a bag and handed it to us. 10 stroke 10 employee, I hope he's doing well. Couple years ago I worked at a deli inside a Walmart neighborhood market aka just groceries. Every 3 hours we had to mark rotisserie chickens and other foods on the hot plates down 50%. If people were kind or look they could use some help I would mark that down almost any time. I couldn't tell you how many folks came in who I would give a few extra slices of cheese or ham to for free and just their faces light up. They def. Needed it more than Walmart. Having worked in multiple movie theaters, I can tell you that the ushers absolutely give zero fricks about you trying to sneak in food from outside. It's a minimum wage job. They have no interest in hassling people or getting into a confrontation over the bag of peanut M&Ms in your purse. It's a million times easier to just turn a blind eye. There was one family that used to come to the movies almost every week. They would always bring their grandma, who was in a wheelchair, and she always had a box of pizza on her lap covered by a shawl. And this was obvious to everyone. It's a fresh hot pizza FFS. You can smell it from 30 feet away. I honestly thought about just telling them that I didn't care if they were bringing food, but I thought maybe that's the only reason they brought grandma and I didn't want to take that away from her. I used to work in an auto parts store in a town with a lot of gang activity. Every now and then some monstrously muscular dude covered in tats would walk in and grab two batteries off of the rack. We assumed for the hydraulics most were using, and walk out. We would just wave and say have a nice day rather than get the crap beat out of us. We'd just write it off as a store loss. Movie theater attendants don't care if you enjoy an unpaid double feature, as long as you're not obvious about it. Same with outside food. They honestly don't give a dang about you bringing in a coke or a pack of chips. Using the bathroom if you aren't actually a customer. We are the only place open at 3 in the morning. I'm not gonna tell people to go find somewhere else. I had this backfire a number of times, after relenting on the no public restroom rule, people just fricked the entire bathroom up to say thank you. Years back I worked at a local chain restaurant that had a drive through One of the owners would occasionally come through and reiterate that we were to only give one ketchup packet out per order of fries at the drive through Our fry orders were huge, and one packet was nowhere near enough, so as soon as he was gone, we'd go back to throwing handfuls of ketchup packets into the bags. Long time ago I ordered a bunch of Taco Bell for myself and four friends. It was about 2am and we were surf fishing in a small SoCal town. Anyway after the highly stoned worker handed me my huge he asked what kind and how much sauce I wanted. I replied a frick ton of mild please and he proceeded to hand me an entire box of it. I work as a lifeguard at a theme park. First job. And one thing some customers do is pretend they are gonna faint or they are having heat related problems so they can get us to call into base and get them free food or drinks. Sometimes I really wish I was a bad person. They really know how to game the system. At my pizza place we make large pies for slices. Cheese pies only get 14 ounces of shredded moz on them but that's not enough cheese to get decent coverage. 
Frick that, I'm putting at least another 3 ounces of cheese on that mother. Ain't nobody getting a crappy slice of cheese pizza on my watch. Not me but my boyfriend worked a store in a large mall. The store refuses to put security sensors in because it ruins the laid back vibe of the store. They wanted you to chase after shoplifters. One girl working there almost got maced. A male co-worker was threatened to be stabbed. He just didn't care and wouldn't chase. He would just tell the manager on duty what happened. Some of the managers never listened. The security in the mall is awful. So bad that a different store a friend was working at where their employees actually got attacked for trying to stop a shoplifter. That store hired their own private security to protect their employees. Nobody working minimum wage should get threatened to be fired for not chasing shoplifters. Who are threatening them bodily harm. I have worked a ton of retail jobs. When they do training about shoplifting the first thing every single one said was never ever chase a shoplifter. Get a good look at them and call the cops. But it is not your job to catch criminals. And it is illegal to detain people. All you can do is call the cops. If the item doesn't have a price I'll let the customer just name it if they're nice. We're supposed to have someone check the price but that usually takes a long butt time as everyone's busy. I save that for buttholes. I worked at a deli and had the power to override the price per pound anytime I felt like it. So if a customer was upset I'd give them half off. Or if they had a cool shirt. I didn't really care. This reminds me of when I worked in a supermarket and got minimum wage. They would sometimes ask me to work the bakery. I'd give the kids free cookies and then offer one to the parent. Worked at Chuck E. Cheese for a while when I first turned 16. Came in one week to the entire place smelling like crap. Boss told me some kid took his dirty diaper and wiped it all over the machines and asked me to do his a favor. He walked out and have never returned. I read here that Dairy Queen requires you charge for anything extra when ringing someone up. But after you purchase it, if you ask the person making it for extra whatever, they throw it in free. I used to work at a convenience store when I was in college. There was a guy that came and shoplifted beer like clockwork every week or so. He came after 2am. Not sure if he did that because he could not afford it, or it was past 2am and he cannot buy alcohol that is. State law. We were all college age kids. We were basically like you don't pay me enough to chase this crazy drunk fool. I worked at an online diaper bag company, and if a bag was returned, I was supposed to find out if it was a defect or the customer's fault to decide how to issue a replacement. When a frantic hormonal new mom would call me getting ready to rant and put her foot down, I would always interrupt their story and just ask for their address and what type of bag they wanted, and ship it for free. No way am I being paid enough to get in that argument. I don't care if they were carrying large bricks in the bag. Take a new one. To be clear, this was the same response, whether people called in upset or not. All I wanted was to get off the phone call and finish work. If you cared enough to call, then you convinced me. I was not interested in arguing with any moms, regardless of initial demeanor. I wonder how much great customer service is actually just this. I worked at a hardware store in the garden center making close to minimum wage. We often loaded heavy bags of mulch and dirt for customers in their trucks beds and whatnot. We were told that we were not allowed to take tips from customers. So being the good boy that I was, I turned down a couple tips until one day I loaded up a full customer pickup bed and he handed me a $20. I told him I can't take that, and he looked me dead the eye and said, do they really pay you so much you don't need it? I stopped being an idiot that day. Why the frick I let someone pay me so little and tell me I'm not allowed to make more and I listened is just embarrassing now. Yep, I took every carry out tip offered in my retail days. Just say, thank you and don't tell anyone. I work at Target and we aren't allowed to do anything to physically stop people from stealing. If someone's trying to be sneaky, we are supposed to say I think you forgot that in your cart. But if you wanted to grab something and just walk away with it, only thing we can do is tell asset protection. Whenever I shop at a department store, I always try to find the most disgruntled looking cashier. I've had cashiers bag things that weren't scanned. They didn't care and I don't say anything. I've done this. Sometimes something just didn't scan right and I was so tired. Liquidation sale FTW. That I just threw it in their bag. No returns anyway. 
used to work at a movie theater. No one cares if you bring your own snacks, although it's super aggravating if you leave your snack garbage in the theater instead of taking it out with you. We usually have an hour window where all the theaters are getting out. We tend to have about 10 minutes per theater to clean on a busy day. Leaving your garbage in your seats makes everything slower. It's not hard to carry it down to the can. We cannot give out complimentary hot water. However, many people ask for it with this really desperate look on their face. I let it slide sometime. Wish this weren't the case. I once had to fly back to school and was very, very sick. Asked for some hot water to dissolve my packet of Theraflu and the air hostess refused, insisting that the hot water only be used for tea. I had to use cold water and the crystals didn't dissolve completely. I worked in an electronics retail store. We have a standard price match guarantee 14 days with a receipt. I had a woman come in and give me a huge attitude and explain that she bought this TV 2 days ago and paid $3199.99 and no one of our competitors has it for $2999.99 and she demanded her money back, plus the 10% of the difference. I made her wait and pretended to check with the manager. Well when I looked it up we were currently selling it for $2499.99. So I went over with a huge smile and told the mean woman who was giving me dirty looks the whole time sure mom we can match the $2,999.99 for you and the 10% or the $200 difference so she walked out thinking she won the battle paying $2,979.99 for her TV. When if she was nice I would have given it to her at our sale price of $2,499.99. Being a bee cost her $480. Armila Shire's compliance. Used to wait tables. People couldn't bring their own drinks. Booze or just water. I honestly didn't care if I saw them bring their own. Ours was way overpriced. One day this obviously broke couple came in to celebrate something and they asked for tacos and a big bottle of beer but were discouraged by the price of the bottle so I told them they could buy a bottle from the store on the other side of the street. It was half the price. And if it was warm I could exchange it for one of our cold ones. I think I was too nice to people though. I've never encountered another waitress or waiter who would be as nice as I was. But meh. It felt good and the bosses could never tell. Anyone who does good solely in the hopes that it's reciprocated is in for a bad time. Good on you for making probably hundreds of people lives better by being a super nice. As a valet, we would reuse tickets and just pocket the cash to park as our tip on slow days. The manager never counted how many cars we parked or how many tickets we used. I was taught this by my co-workers on my first day. It was the only way to make money. Also, I never asked for it when selling rated M games to people who looked under 17 at a major retailer. It is not a law and my supervisor didn't care as he wanted as many sales as he could get. I actually got eyed once at Ed Games Gamestop for a rated A game. Didn't have it so I had to walk away. Was 23. About 22 years ago I worked in a Kmart that had a diner and I was the dishwasher. One day a waitress came up to me and asked me to clean a mess in the ladies room. In my ignorance I had just assumed someone had spilled the trash or something that innocuous. I opened the door and everything looked fine. I opened the first of two stalls. Everything looked fine. Then I opened the second stall. Some lady had projectiles shitted all over the back wall of the stall. It was a tremendous amount of liquefied crap. So, after dry heaving a number of times I'll leave the ladies room. I informed the head waitress that there was no way in heck I was going to touch that mess. She bitched and moaned about it but I wouldn't budge. She called the store manager down to the restaurant and he started yelling at me to clean up the mess in front of everyone. I flat out refused and told him to go take a look for himself. I grabbed a dish bucket from the opposite end of the restaurant and on my way to the back I saw him come out from the restroom. On his way out he stopped by the hostess and told her to put up an out of order sign. They ended up hiring a professional cleaning service to take care of it. Apparently he didn't get paid enough to deal with that crap either. Look, if you're gonna shoplift, don't be obvious. I don't really care if you plan on taking that $3 candy bar, but don't do it if I'm around. 
I've had managers yell at me because someone decided to walk out with some crap and the security camera showed I was the next aisle over so I should have been assisting the customer or some crap. Also don't take things out of the package and then stash the package somewhere else in the store for a supervisor or manager to find and then chew employees out for. Just throw that crap in the garbage. I disagree about that last point. I'm an inventory manager, and keeping track of item counts is a big part of what I do. If I find the packaging tucked away somewhere, I can write it off as theft bc I have proof. But if my count says we're supposed to have 12 of something and we only have 5, I'm never really sure. I'd carry coins on me when I worked at McDonald's so if anyone came up to less than a dollar short, I'd cover it for them. I'd feel especially bad declining them if they were with a girlfriend or family or something. I know what it's like to come up short at a fast food place. You the real MVP. If someone can't afford their pizza by a few dollars I just give it to them anyway. It comes out of my tips for the evening, so my boss doesn't hear crap about it. You are an exemplary human being. Honestly, shoplifting. We aren't allowed to confront the customer. We are supposed to follow them around asking them if they need help finding anything in hopes they get nervous and leave. I don't do this, nor do I care to. I don't get paid anymore for putting myself in a position where a customer could get aggressive. I'm not even a shoplifter, but being followed around and constantly asked if I need help makes me anxious. Don't know why though. When I worked in a restaurant on the line and a guy, who was dicking around, cut his hand open and bled everywhere. I was told to clean it up, promptly told my manager no because I didn't have proper PPE to deal with blood and I'm not willing to risk playing with someone else's blood, obviously wasn't paid enough either, manager ended up cleaning it up. Used to work at a sports arena that hosted a lot of adult rec leagues, whole place was supposed to be strictly alcohol free, but as long as you weren't swigging it in the main lobby or belligerently drunk. We didn't enforce it. A lot of guys would leave a sixer with a beer or two in it, or the bottom third of a fifth of jack, so the other custodian and I would split a lot of free booze at the end of cleanup. And bonus story, one night a guy broke his leg right above the ankle. He was so blasted he couldn't feel it. He kept trying to get back on the ice and keep playing. So chill 60 something year old, but I cannot imagine trying to play hockey that drunk. Hockey players are a different breed. This is every rink in America. A sign reads alcohol is not permitted while the garbage can is filled to the brim with rolling rock or cockney. Used to work at a place where you build stuffed animals, like bears cough cough. We have little hearts that people put in the bears, but sometimes people would just come in and ask to take a heart or two. We weren't allowed to say yes, but I'd let them do it anyway because there's some sort of symbolism in giving people a little bit of love. I'm always disappointed there are no black hearts. I worked at the mall when I was in college. I was a pune, but I had the power to issue $25 gift cards. Every time some customer got mad, I would just say omg I'm so sorry, here's $25. I wasn't paid enough to deal with anyone yelling at me. One of my jobs as a teenager was working at Marshalls. In case you all weren't aware. But having explosive shoots in the changing room is against the rules for everyone. When they tried to get me to put on gloves to clean it up I just stood there and said no. They certainly were not paying me enough to deal with that crap. Glad to know my highest rated comment is about refusing to clean up diarrhea in a dressing room. There's way too many people that dealt with this same situation. I wish retail companies were out through the ringer with OSHA violations for this. I gave the customer a few other places they might be able to find what they were looking for and got scolded for suggesting our competition by management. $10.20 an hour and I don't get paid commission. Do you really think I care? A few years ago but I'm still salty about it. I did the same thing in the day. If we didn't have it, I'd tell people to visit competitors. Like seriously, we don't have the thing. We weren't going to get any money for a sale for something we don't carry. Help the customer buy it somewhere else, and you build up goodwill that makes them want to come to your store first. It ain't rocket science, man. 
not something the customer isn't allowed to do. Just a I make minimum wage so I really don't care story. When I was working the drive through at a fast food restaurant a customer ordered around $15 worth of food and paid entirely in change. Then he realized he wanted to order one more item which came out to around $1 too. He handed me a $20 bill. So naturally I handed him back $18 and quarters. I work at a very laid back golf course. Not the nicest course, but it's fun and cost like 12 bucks a round. Golfers are very secretive about carrying beverages, but no one cares. Throw your trash away and we're okay with it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.